Hey, what's up, guys? We are back. We've got a, a brand new Azov video. It says reconnaissance operation operations of the Azov K-12 unit, Ukrainian Vietnam River Landing Ops. I think this is going to be badass. It's a shorter one. It's like 10 minutes, but I wanted to watch it with you guys. Um, real quick, a couple of things I wanted to mention, some housekeeping, if you will. Um, ever since that other Saxon in Ukraine... People started getting us confused. People started reporting my YouTube channel thinking that I was this other guy. So we're getting a lot less views, a lot less interactions, shit like that. So I need more help now than ever to watch the full video, drop a comment, like. I'm, I'm shamelessly, I'm shamelessly, you know, begging or asking. <laughs> not, not begging, but you know what I mean. I need some help because we have been falsely accused of this other Saxon in country. So... Just, just show some love on the channel. Real quick, my name is Saxon. It's my real name, not my call sign like this other guy. Uh, my call sign is Vegas. I go by Vegas here in Ukraine. I joined the International Legion for the Defense of Ukraine in January of 2023. I'm no longer with the Legion. I'm with a different team that is working with the 13th Brigade, Hatia. Uh, I am currently recommending people, to, if they are looking to come to Ukraine and join an international fighting unit, to check out Hatia rather than the International Legion right now, just because the Legion's going through a lot of changes. Um, and I did want to break that down a little bit. I, excuse me, I was in 3rd Battalion, Charlie 3 Platoon, within uh, the International Legion for the Defense of Ukraine. There's four battalions, uh, one, two, three, and four, right? One and two and three, but one and two primarily were the first two battalions have been fighting since the beginning of since the start of the International Legion. They are so low on manpower, they are basically combining forces. And say, and 3rd Battalion, my battalion, which uh, started in the, the very beginning of 2023, is also losing forces. So 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Battalion are kind of joining forces because of how low they are on manpower. 4th Battalion is the training battalion. They stay on the base and they train the new legionnaires that come in so they are a non-combat uh unit currently so i just wanted to give some uh, some context to what i mean by the legions going through some changes they're losing a shit ton of people and i'm not going to recommend you guys go there i i'm more familiar with hatia there's a few people actually viewers from this channel who have came here to ukraine and are now in hatia and they say they like it i have heard a couple people have some negative things to say about the unit but at the end of the day, this is an infantry unit, and it's in wartime. It's not going to be, you're not going to be staying at a fucking Hyatt Regency, you know what I mean, and getting room service. It's going to be shitty, but um, it's going to be better than just going out and getting killed right away like uh, you could in some other units. I'm, I don't get paid, or I don't get any kickbacks for sending people to this unit. It's strictly because I think it's a safer option than some of the other ones that are out there right now. Last thing, I've got different breed patches. The red, white, and blue, different breed. You see that? The uh, woodland camo it looks like this. It's dark in the camera, but it looks like my hat. And then the, the black and white. We've got gotten a few members recently, and uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much, man. I am going to be, this is the best I can do is send out a patch, but I have to wait until we get a handful of members so I can send them all out at the same time because shipping shit from Ukraine isn't, it, very cheap you know what i mean so um but i just want to say thank you so much if you are interested and you have the means uh become a member really appreciate it it supports me and what i do here in ukraine um other than that let's jump into azov let's see what they do here I don't read very fast. <laughs> Caption, reconnaissance operations of the BUAR, Brigade Command and Artillery Reconnaissance Unit of the 12th Special Forces Brigade as well. Okay, cool. Um, something I want to mention since it looks like it's going to be prevalent in this video, or at least it is right now, is night vision, nods. Night vision and thermal vision so crucial out here. Um, whether you're on defensive, defensive missions like I was on with the Legion or you're going on assaults, 
having that extra edge over your enemy where you can see during night is the difference between life or death, frankly. I mean, and it helps everything, whether you just need to, you know, you're under indirect fire, you're under artillery fire, you need to take your bag off, look through your bag for whatever it is. Um, maybe you got to grab some med supplies if you're a medic like I am, or you need to do different things within your bag. Maybe you got ammo back in there and you're a, uh, you're a machine gunner, you know what I mean? Instead of fumbling around, because it is pitch black out there during the night, and that's typically, at least that's when we, my unit infilled and exfilled in the, the cover of pitch black. Um, so anyways, check out night vision. Unless you're on like a pretty elite GUR team or um, sp special forces team out here in Ukraine, you will not be issued night vision. This is something that you have to supply yourself either back in wherever you're from or buy it when you get in the country. Давай. Уводим, уводим, уводи, уводи, уводи. Сюда, за меня расстрелись, на сцене. Так, пач. Что меня? Что делать? Что меня сейчас это немного подзарядить? На. Еще раз. Я, я вот сейчас один взял. Ну а еще один, у меня хватает, братан. Сзади можно нормально. Все зарядки. Да. Иди вы полные все. Что же неплохо? Все, можем идти. This, you can see it barely. It's kind of blurry. That um, that stake in the ground that's marked with a red. It's like a wooden stake with a red marker on top. He's saying, "Watch out for the landmine." This is so crazy, right? I mean. In most Western militaries, you know, if they were to find a landmine like this, that would, everything would be put on hold, right? They'd have to send in some kind of a, an EOD team or they'd send in a um, one of those vehicles that'll blow it up or, or something, right? And these guys just step around it and keep moving on with their mission. Very cool. I'm sure there's, there's Western units that do that as well, but they're probably pretty high tier level um, special forces that that could just dodge a landmine and keep moving um also wanted to say this this time frame that they are um doing this mission in looks like what they call the uh, the thermal crossover or you know twilight hours where it's like very early in the morning where the sun is just starting to peak over the peak over the horizon or in the evening right as the sun is going down under the horizon and they call this a thermal crossover because it's harder for thermal optics whether it's drones or your own personal um, optics to pick up signatures because the heat in the landscape is changing right rather than like in the middle of the day for example the all of the the ground is really cold because it's cold out here it's really easy to pick up, you know, 10 heat signatures moving across a field. But when the thermal crossover is happening like this and temperatures are changing, you can kind of move under the, the cover of the, the thermal crossover. So you see a lot of operations, especially higher level uh, special forces teams operate in this time. Hold on. Plus, plus. Переступай высоко. Война.
just want to mention this before it kicks off because I think they're about to start a firefight. But did you see that that red paint mark on the tree? It's possible that that was there before the war started, right? And it's some kind of hiking hiking marker. But what it strikes me as is the same paint color that was on that mine stake, the stake that was uh, sh lo showing where the mine was located. So I wouldn't be surprised if they had some kind of a recon or sapper um, unit come out prior to this mission, mark the landscape um, for mines, and also designate specific markers for where you should be where the um, assault team should be moving. Maybe I could be wrong, but that's what this those markers make me think. Леска, а, вон, да, Всё? вижу, Всё. вижу, вижу. Ага, вон стоит, да, вон? Ага. И вон наша новая дешевая. Что? Покажи. Вот. А, вон, видишь, ага. черная. PKM for sure. There's the the thermal crossover again, and this is when they're they're ex villain. Я 
Реально, меня сейчас держим лодку, запрыгиваешь. Я как Нормально. Они легко кусок не держат. Я держу, теперь давай. Теперь лови. Держись, как живет. Держитесь. Давай. Сюда, Петра, за туманом. Сейчас, сейчас, сейчас. Все нормально. Сейчас, сейчас. Погнали. Сюда, налево, 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 налево. Сильно? Да. Все бы кого Да. А АТшки? Тоже. Ну, ты видишь, что лежит? Mm -hmm. Мы тулим. <laughs> that was sick. That was that was different than um some of the other as our videos that we see you know we've seen one that was like a um a sniper a s mission that was kind of similar to this but i don't know exactly what their uh, objective was there it said mission complete so they 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 must have done whatever they were supposed to do but uh that was cool it's cool to see smaller teams operate like that the last video we watched was like this huge assault with third assault battalion 3ab and then i mean there was probably over 50 soldiers just full on storm uh st storming trenches but this was different a little more tactical a little more quiet and then you know when they when they fire they all fire at the same time and use that shock and awe tactic and then they move this was cool man these guys are um i said this actually i said this when i was with my team the other night but i said azov has officially in my opinion cemented their name in the history books of most elite fighting units in history again in my opinion but they've been around for a while and they have just they've always gotten the job done you know anyways this was a shorter one please do me a favor like comment subscribe we need all the help we can get on the channel right now we want to get this shit blown up i'd love i know it's a long shot but i would love to try to get to like 7,000 subs before uh, Christmas. So please drop a like. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.